A very good day to you and uh, welcome to my kitchen. <laughs> my wife's over at the children's home. She's doing some work with the kids. And I'm going to do this program here before she gets back. I want to speak to you about loneliness. You know how many lonely people there are in the world today? I want to tell you folks, they say sometimes the loneliest place to be is in the middle of a large crowd. Okay? But you know, there is one who understands exactly how you're feeling today. You might be saying, Angus, I'm thinking of ending my life. No, please don't do that. There's no shortcuts to heaven. Okay? We, you and I have no right to take our own lives. You say, why not? Because you didn't create yourself. And the, one of the commandments uh, that the Lord gave us is, Thou shalt not kill. You cannot take your own life because that's murder. I want to say to you, go to the Lord. Ask Jesus to help you. Ask Jesus to be a friend to you who sticks closer than any brother. If you look at uh, Matthew chapter 14 and verse 23, this is what the word says. And when he had sent the multitudes away, he went up on a mountain by himself to pray. And when evening came, he was alone there. Jesus understands loneliness. Many a time, he just left the maddening crowd, as it were, and went up on his own into a mountain and spent time with his father. Do you know in the Garden of Gethsemane, the time where the Bible says the Lord sweated great drops of blood. He was so anxious. Remember, he was God, but he was also a man. And he knew what was coming. And the one time that he wanted his friends, his disciples, to be with him, they were asleep. And then when the high priest soldiers came to take Jesus away, they deserted him. Every one of them ran away and left him. He understands about loneliness. And I want to say to you, if you're lonely today, my dear friend, I also understand how you feel. Many a time when I have to say goodbye to Jill, you know, all our children have grown up. They live around here, but they're not in this house. And she, she's left here on her own, and I have to get on that airplane and fly to an unknown destination, as it were. One gets very lonely. And that is the time when you need to know the man from Galilee. You need to know the good shepherd. You need to know the father of the lost. And his name is Jesus. And talk to him. And explain to him how you're feeling. You might be sitting in that bachelor flat as I'm talking to you now. You might be in jail. And you might say, Angus, it's so lonely and I've got such a long stretch. I tell you what, start your conversation with the Lord every morning and finish it every evening. And it will transform your life. When I'm feeling lonely, I might be sitting at a, at a boarding gate in some international airport and there's a whole lot of people, but I don't know them. And I'm just sitting there waiting. And I'm not coming home. I'm going to the next meeting. I feel very lonely. And that's the time when I say, Lord, we need to have a chat. And I tell you what, he's there waiting for you and for me every time. Those who wait upon the Lord, they shall renew their strength. They shall mount up with wings like eagles. They shall run and not be weary. They shall walk and not faint. I want to encourage you, my dear friend, to develop your relationship with Jesus. Isaiah chapter 40 and verse 31. And you won't be lonely again. Okay, so please develop your friendship with the man from Galilee. That's why he says, call unto me and I will answer you and I will show you great and mighty things of which you do not know. Jeremiah chapter 33 verse 3. Okay, we always say tongue-in-cheek, that's Jesus' telephone number. Jeremiah 333. And I tell you what, he will never give you a missed call. He will always answer that telephone. And so until we meet, again, remember you don't have to feel lonely because he understands how you feel. God bless you. Goodbye.